This here is Easy Canvas. It turns your iPad or Galaxy Tab into a drawing tablet for your computer like a little Cintiq. Let's take a closer look at it. Hey there, I'm Ryan, an artist who likes playing around with different digital art tools, and one of those tools is my iPad Pro. As we all know, tablets like the iPad or Galaxy Tab are extremely convenient and versatile, especially for artists who like to take their work out on the go with them. Back at the studio desk though, it may be your primary device for creating professional level work, depending on the model that you have. But if you tend to work more on your PC, then it can also be an awesome addition to your setup by acting as an additional screen, one that responds to pen and touch input. There are a few different apps out there that enable this. I've got an older video looking at both AstroPad and Easy Canvas together, but seeing as I've done a dedicated video of AstroPad since then, I figured I should probably do one just of Easy Canvas too, because I use this almost every day. So here's my context. I travel a lot, making the iPad an ideal companion. But I tend to do most of my drawing on my Windows 11 laptop that goes around with me. Usually I'm pairing that with my Intuos Pro. Having a second screen though is always nice, so I set up my iPad for that purpose, especially while live streaming drawing sessions. But occasionally I like to use the iPad as my drawing tablet as well. I don't need the software for this to be excellent, but so long as it's smooth and responsive to use. If I was using the iPad with the computer as my main digital art making configuration, I would choose different software, but I'm going to get into that later. Let me show you what we get with this. First thing to note is that on the App Store, you will find two options for Easy Canvas, a subscription option and a one-off payment option. Both are the same in what they offer. Both are cheap, but there are seldom any updates to the software. I'm assuming this is as far as they intend to go with this app, so just go with the one-off purchase. After installing the app on your tablet and the EL Display Hub application from their website, you can connect your devices and get started. You can use this with a wired connection or you can go wireless, but you're going to need a good network setup for that to work smoothly. Your best bet is a full feature USB cable to ensure a stable and reliable connection. Now, onto the important stuff, using it. So I've got Clip Studio Paint open over here. Silly, I know, because this app is available for the iPad on its own already. And it has a neat mobile simple mode that declutters the UI really nicely. But if, like me, you have the computer version already and you don't need a mobile subscription, then we have this option. When you run the app, you get this toolbar that you can move around your screen. When you bring it towards the sides, it rotates and snaps to the edges if you come in a bit closer. Another toolbar though, when you're using desktop software that has quite a few UI elements already, can be a bit of a nuisance. Thankfully, you can just collapse the sidebar into a single button. Or you could take a different approach, simplifying the painting software UI and relying more on Easy Canvas's toolbar. I prefer to just collapse it and use my keyboard for the shortcuts that I might have programmed into this anyway. Looking at that toolbar, there are three sections. This first one is for collapsing, locking, and opening the settings. The settings panel will let you change the keyboard hotkeys and icons for these eight shortcut buttons in the middle. You can only set keyboard combos here, no mouse clicks or scroll functions. This last section has the tutorial, app infos, screen adjustment, and stylus pressure curve that you'll see in just about every other regular tablet driver application. With the screen adjustment, you can zoom in or out of your display area. This is one way to get your software UI out of the way. And then the last thing is the touch gestures. You have the basic options here, double tap to undo, long press for eyedropper, pinch to zoom and rotate, one finger to drag, and that's it, it's enough. When it comes to drawing, in terms of line quality, things are pretty decent here, but I have noticed in some apps that it's almost too sensitive and it can be a little bit shaky. So if you're into doing neat line art, it is something to look at. But no problem because in most cases, a slight tweak of the stabilizer or smoothing settings will sort that out if you experience it. For painting though, it's no concern at all. You're getting full Apple Pencil support or S Pen if you're on a Galaxy Tab, so that means great pressure sensitivity and also tilt recognition. A bit more on compatibility, Clip Studio Paint looks good, touch gestures work really smoothly, as does the pen, the tilt responds with more chalky brushes. Medibang 2 seems fine, pressure looks good, no issues with quick strokes. Critter works well for the most part, except that one finger still draws on the canvas. So you need to be really precise when using two fingers to rotate or zoom, or for double tapping. I did notice the start of some of my lines would get this weird hook to it, but I think that's due to me bringing the pen down at a bit of a tilt. Overall, I find this does the job well for my painting needs. And apart from sometimes feeling that 12.9 inches is just too small of a screen to work on, I do enjoy using this. So to sum up and wrap up, some important things to note about Easy Canvas. This is macOS and Windows compatible, and you can use it either with an iPad or with a Galaxy Tab S. 
As far as I know, no other Android tablets are supported in a way that you'll get all the stylus features. If you do happen to test this on a Xiaomi Pad 6 with a smart pen, let me know. Again, wired connection is your best option. Going wireless can be a little frustrating if your connection isn't really good. You'll have the choice to either duplicate or extend your display. If you work mainly in Blender, I would recommend checking out AstroPad instead because you don't have the option to program mouse functions. The trial for Easy Canvas? A mere three days. So make sure to give this a try when you have the time to test it out properly with your usual workflow. With Galaxy devices, the last I checked, the S Pen hover did not affect your computer cursor position. I mention this because with doing demos online, it's helpful to have this functioning correctly when you need to show areas of the UI that you're referencing or interacting with. I'm yet to test the Apple Pencil hover because of having an older iPad Pro here, but do let me know in the comments how it works for you if you have the option to test it. Development seems to have come to an end with this app, or at least it's a low priority. So Pencil hover isn't likely to be a feature that's more carefully and cleverly integrated soon. Again, this is an area where AstroPad stands out. But all of that said, Easy Canvas is cheap and it works pretty well for most cases. And for around 10 US dollars, I'd say it's definitely worth it. If you are more of a professional artist though, and you want something that offers a lot more in terms of features and customizability, then check out my video on AstroPad next. Thanks for watching, happy painting.